Welcome! In this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Taskmaster in standard difficulty. Um, we, in fact, have another Villain Theory deck. He built me two decks, one thematic, one less thematic. So this is the less thematic deck. Um, he's called it Swift in Numbers. There's no write-up for this one, so I'm going to be stumbling blind through what I'm meant to be doing this deck, I guess. Um, but yeah, another Blue Hulk deck. Uh, let's see how it goes against Taskmaster. So we'll go through our setup. Uh, Taskmaster has 13 life. Uh, we got set up here. We set each captive ally aside, which I've done. They're off to the side, uh, out of play. We search the encounter deck for the Hydra Patrol and put it into play. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we look for the Hydra Patrol. There it is. So that comes into play with two threat and puts a Christ Cycle into play and it has a when defeated effect, which is each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for Hydra minion and puts it into play and engages them. Then shuffle the encounter deck, but we don't worry about that until we actually defeat that side scheme, if we even defeat it. There's our Christ Icon. There's our two threat. We'll go to the other side. So hunting down heroes. And the Taurus Taskmaster has been appointed Hydra's Chief of Police. His top priority is hunting down the outlaw heroes. So we have a forced response here. After resolving step one of the villain phase, each player in hero form must choose either place one threat here or take one damage. So this threat's out at 12 and comes in with one threat and goes up one threat per player each at the start of each villain phase. So one threat. All right. And so... Taskmaster also has a ability here where after a player changes the hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the amount of boost icons on that card. All right, so let's drop our stone hand size five. We have a leadership skill, limitless strength, wonder man, Hulk smash, and a crushing blow. Okay, we're going to use our experimental research ability for banner to draw a card and discard a card. We have Ironheart. Onto Ironheart and throw away Wonder Man. We'll flip up to Hulk. We will spend a leadership skill and a crushing blow for two resources to bring in Ironheart. So, oh, I've got, we flipped up to Hero Form. We've got to take one damage from the boost icon there. We flip up, the, uh, sorry, when we've got Ironheart, uh, when Ironheart, uh, play, when you play from hand, you draw one card, so we'll draw a card. We have Maria Hill. I still Hulk Smash, right? Yeah. So we're going to use three resources for Hulk Smash, so plus 10 to our basic attack, knocking out stage one of Taskmaster, because I had 13 health. Stage two, when revealed, deal each player an encounter card. Taskmaster now has 16 hit points. Uh, Ironheart's going to thwart one off Hydra Patrol. And we're going to throw away Maria Hill, unfortunately. And then we're ready up. Draw four cards with Kalu. Unstoppable Force, Unstoppable Force, and a Strength in Numbers. Okay, um, we place one threat on the main scheme. After resolving the step one of the villain phase, which we just did, each player in hero form must choose to either uh, place one threat here or take one damage. We'll just take the one damage. Oop. Ironheart should have one consequential damage on her. Taskmaster's going to attack. We will, you know, we'll just take it. So two plus. One, so three damage. Take us down to 13. Get our encounter card. So villain schemes. So we've got two plus three, so five. And the villain attacks you. We'll just take it again. So two plus, if you're in hero form, take one damage. Otherwise, place one threat in the main scheme. So take a damage and take two from the attack, taking us down to 10. All right, Einhardt's going to thwart one to get rid of Hydra Patrol. Gets rid of our Crisis. 
And Hydra Trolls, like when defeated, we look for a Hydra minion and put them into play with us. So. No, we'll just grab this Hydra Hunter. His attacks gain piercing and ranged. I'm not going to worry too much about it because we're just going to go. Oh, and Ironheart's gone. We're just going to swing for three to knock that out. Yeah, we're going to spend two resources to put Kalu into play. Kalu, 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 Kalu. After Kalu enters play, search top five cards of your deck for an event, add that event to your hand, shuffle your deck. So, if you have any events, there's a suborbital leap, another strength in numbers. I will just grab the strength in numbers, it's not going to really matter. Kelly's go thwart for one. Went down to six. We're just going to throw away our strength and numbers and ready up. Draw four cards. We have a genius, stinger, energy, and squirrel girl. All right. One threat goes on the main scheme. We will take a damage instead of placing a threat. Taskmaster is going to attack. Kelly's going to defend. So two plus. Two for four. Kelly's knocked out. Get our encounter card. Hit up a Hydra. Insight one. So when this card's real, place one threat in the main scheme. Um, each hero in, sorry, each player in hero form takes one damage and discards one card at random from their hand. Ugh. So one damage. We lose genius. All right, well, we're going to use energy. Two races put in Squirrel Girl. After Squirrel Girl, and play, deal one damage to each enemy. So one damage onto Taskmaster there. Squirrel Girl's going to thwart for one. Hulk's going to attack for three, taking Taskmaster down to 12, and we're going to have to throw away Stinger. And we'll ready up. Draw four cards. We have Ant Man, Strength in Numbers, Heli Carrier, and a Crushing Blow. Okay. One threat in the main scheme. We'll take a damage. Taskmaster is going to attack. Squirrel Girl will defend. So two plus one is three. Squirrel Girl gets knocked out. Get our encounter card. And it's a hard regular with insight one. Pushing the main scheme to nine out of twelve. Going to, you know, what, we're just going to spend three resources to play Ant Man. Um, so when Ant Man enters play, place one PIM count on him to a maximum of four for each resource you overpaid for him. He costs zero, so he paid three, so he gets three counters on him, and he has one hit point for each of those counters. Ant Man's going to thwart two off the main scheme. Takes one damage. Uh, Hulk will attack for three on the Hydra regular. And we're ready. Draw four cards. Limitless Stamina, Hulk Smash, Limitless Stamina, and a Thunderclap. All right. 
you get one threat on the main scheme, we'll take a damage. Uh, Taskmaster is going to attack. Uh, we'll take it. So two plus one, three. We get our counter card, and now we've got Ant-Man still ready to defend if we get another attack. Touch the Taskmaster. Taskmaster gains Retaliate 1. And we can exhaust and spend a physical and mental resource to discard this card. But we're not going to do that, because we are just going to spend three physical resources. One, two, three. Hulk Smash. So basic attack, plus 10 for 13 damage. Taskmaster only has 12. Taskmaster's defeated. So once again, Hulk, strongest one there is. Uh, yep, leadership deck worked well, I guess, bringing in those allies to defend. Um, Swift in numbers. Didn't get to do any uh, strength in number cards. So, But hey, I had a constant slew of like, felt like those allies coming in to help out with a bit of the threat and take the hits for me. So um, yeah, another solid deck by Villain Theory, but when are they not solid? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this content. Again, if you enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching.